I am a crime scene technology major here at Kaiser. And I have quite a few different uh, jobs that I do. I work at Lowe's part-time. But for the most part, I like the field that I'm going into. Right now, I've got my foot in the door. I'm a corrections officer at Turning Point. Basically, I monitor the inmates, make sure they eat, make sure they clean their rooms, make sure they go to work, make sure they come home, all within a specific time. I haven't always been on the good side of the law. Okay, everybody's got a past, everybody's got a future, but mine is, my, my past is not as squeaky clean as it, as it should have been. I bet you're all wondering what's in the briefcase, right? It's a good question. There's an interesting story behind this briefcase. Well, long story short, my brothers and I used to um, traffic, I'm not going to say drugs, I'm, I'm going to say we didn't know what was in the packages, but we used to take it to a place, pick up money, bring it back, and we'd get $20,000 split amongst the four of us. Now, this one faithful day on a trip down, I think that one was US 27. We see, and I don't know if you know about US 27, but it's a long stretch of highway, and you've got very few exits. So if you break down, you are screwed in the worst sort of way. Nobody's gonna stop and pick you up because that's the place where everybody goes to get rid of their, you know, bodies or whatever it is. There's always some kind of something going on on US 27. None of it's ever good. That being the case, we're driving. We're driving, we're driving. We picked up, we had already dropped off and picked up the money, we're on our way back. And I see this car on the side of the road. I'm like, oh, interesting. Still smoking. Keep driving, keep driving. About maybe three and a half, to, <coughs> bless you, three and a half to four miles down the road, we see this guy. This, he was about yay high, you know, short little white guy, carrying a briefcase. And he's carrying his briefcase. He's walking intently. He is focused on where he's going. And I'm like, well, let's pull over and get a guy a ride. My brother's like, ah, uh, no. <laughs> we don't know this guy. I'm like, come on, man. There's four of us and one of him. What's going to happen? And everybody in the car, lock, stock, and barrel, prepared for whatever. So they agreed. Pulled over. Hey, want to get in? You need a ride? No, no, no. He refused. And I'm like, you got a long way before you, your next exit. And there's no cops just riding up and down US 27. He said, okay, okay. Talk them into it. He gets in the car. He gets in, he's sitting down, he's next to the door, he's holding that briefcase for dear life. I noticed a lock on the side of the briefcase. Hmm. Now my mind is wandering. I'm, I got questions going on. What's in the briefcase? And why is he holding it so like it's the end of the world if he loses it? Okay. Now the criminal in me is coming out. Okay, <laughs> now my intentions are not so good as of this point. So I'm like, okay. And he, he had to sit right next to the door. He didn't want to sit in the middle. He had to sit next to the door, which was fine. I slid over. We're driving. He's sitting there. He's holding it, trying to hold a conversation with the gentleman. He's, his answers are quick, to the point, and that's it. How you going? Fine. Where you going? Um, um, Mom's house. And he seemed very, very nervous. Didn't like that. I don't like anybody around me nervous. Because if you're nervous, that means either you think I'm going to do something to you, or you're intending on doing something to me. And I can guarantee you the latter of that will not happen. <laughs> so <laughs> we're driving, we're driving, and I'm to the point now, I'm like, I'm tapping my brother, and I'm showing him the lock on the briefcase, and he's like, see, okay. Now it's like, okay, whatever's in the briefcase, we, we go get. 
So, so that's it. And everybody in the car is like, okay, we made up our minds. This is going to go down. We're already out here in the middle of nowhere. What's he going to do? So I told him, I said, well, you know what? I don't like this. I'm uncomfortable. Okay, just pull over. I'll get out. Yeah, you're right. You're going to get out. So he opened the door. He went to getting out. I grabbed the briefcase, kicked him out, slammed the door. We took off. So now I was like, okay, what's in the briefcase? What's in the briefcase? As we are driving, trying to figure out how to get this lock off the briefcase, we can't get the lock off the briefcase. In the car that we were in, the seats fold down and you can get to the trunk. Fold my seat down. And I squeezed through and I got like a, the crowbar thing that you use to jack the car up. Mm -hmm. I broke the lock off the briefcase. Guess what was in the briefcase? Money. 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 That fictional story I just told you. <laughs> That's my report. Is it like